the question of whether p is equal to np is one that's uh, intrigued and frustrated a, a lot of researchers. So, so I have to ask you, uh, what's your uh, opinion on, on the status of p versus np? Oh, well, that's easy. I think p not equal to np. And I think a majority of complexity theorists believe it. And I, I, well, so here's my tune on this. Um, first of all, we're really good at finding algorithms for things. I mean, there's a whole algorithms course as we, we teach as undergraduates and all these methods of finding, uh, of finding algorithms um, and, uh, and lots and lots of examples. But uh, for lower bounds, um, we, we aren't, aren't good at finding lower bounds. And here's my proof. If you look at the sequence of complexity classes log space, which is a subset of polynomial time, p, which is a subset of np, non-deterministic poly time, which is a subset of polynomial space. So here we have a sequence of, of three inclusions, starting from log space and poly, ending in polynomial time. There's an easy proof that log space is a proper subset of polynomial space just by diagonalization. Therefore, one of those intermediate three inclusions has to be proper. We can't prove any of them are proper. QED. We <laughs> but, uh, but I guess even in 1967 now, you, you were telling, telling us that uh, your, your feeling was that P is not equal to NP. That, that's right, uh, based on you know, attempts. It really seemed much harder to, to solve NP hard problems or NP problems in general. So yeah, that was, a, I guess I conjectured that okay. way back then, yes. 